वेलकम आई एम योर होस्ट आदिति सिंह एंड यू आर ट्यून्ड इन टू माय इंडिया इन हिज फर्स्ट इंटरनेशनल विजिट आफ्टर सिक्योरिंग अ थर्ड कंसेक्यूटिव टर्म प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी अटेंडेड द जी7 समिट इन पुगलिया इटली एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस समिट प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी एंगेज्ड इन डिस्कशंस ऑन अ रेंज ऑफ टॉपिक्स विद द लीडर्स ऑफ जी7 नेशंस एंड अदर अटेंडीज and these discussions focused on strengthening india's strategic partnerships and exploring mutual interests in the vibrant atmosphere of a bustling summit hall adorned with flags of the world's foremost economies indian prime minister narendra modi emerged as a beacon of confidence and determination capturing the spotlight at the g7 summit in italy's picturesque apulia region Cameras captured a defining moment as Prime Minister Modi took center stage, underscoring India's pivotal global role. A highlight of the event was the Italian Prime Minister's adoption of the Namaste gesture, a sincere tribute showcasing respect for India's rich cultural heritage. This gesture, along with other events, underscored the widespread acknowledgement of India's substantial global influence at the summit. Invited as an outreach country by Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni, India actively engaged in discussions with world leaders. Prime Minister Modi played a crucial role in sessions on artificial intelligence, energy, Africa, and the Mediterranean. The world now recognizes India as a prominent country that can be counted on as a stabilizing factor. India holds a key position in the global south. India It's a prominent country. It's among the most important uh, countries of the world. The huge democracy, so everybody counts on India as a stabilizing factor. You have an important position in the global south. You are pledging towards a multipolar world. Prime Minister Modi underscored India's dedication to advocating for the interests of global south nations amidst current global uncertainties and tensions. He engaged in substantial talks with French President Emmanuel Macron, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, US President Joe Biden, UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, and other world leaders. In his meeting with President Zelensky, Prime Minister Modi reiterated India's commitment to supporting a peaceful resolution to the conflict through dialogue and diplomacy. India's participation at the G7 summit is also significant in the context of its recent presidency of the G20, where it played a leading role in building global consensus on several contentious issues. Uh, India has been selected as a partner for the uh, G7 summit. In fact, uh, if i'm not mistaken india is the only asian country to be selected uh, as a partner so it it is uh, uh, an opportunity also to speak on some of the issues which are very important to the global south the world is today in a very difficult phase there are impacts of the pandemic the russia ukraine war and then there is israel hamas war all these have the larger impact on the global south on the world especially the developing countries so india is the voice of the global south india brings a voice of sanity when india says that there should be a dialogue diplomacy and for peace and that this is not a need of war now that is something that is a message that goes through. at the summit prime minister modi emphasized india's proactive stance in international diplomacy aiming to tackle global challenges and advance peace and prosperity worldwide. During his engagements, Prime Minister Modi also met with Pope Francis, extending a formal invitation for the Pope to visit India. These interactions underscore India's comprehensive diplomatic approach, focusing on building strategic partnerships and fostering dialogue among different faiths to enhance international cooperation. In an era marked by innovation, infrastructure development is witnessing numerous advancements that are aimed at enhancing both style and durability. 
Globally, three-dimensional or constructional technology is being used to create elegant infrastructure projects. And India too is gradually embracing 3D printing in the construction of its infrastructure. So let's delve into the details. This structure may appear ordinary at first glance, but what distinguishes it is that it was not built by human laborers. Instead, by robot-employed 3D printing technology. This single-story, 600-square-foot building comprises a bedroom, kitchen, and living room. Completed in 2021, it stands as India's inaugural 3D-printed house, crafted by Tavasta Manufacturing Solutions, a venture established by three graduates from IIT Madras. The company's objective is to tackle the productivity and sustainability challenges prevailing in the construction sector. In our country, uh, construction industry is one field where automation and innovation is been lacking for quite some time. And this 3D printing is a technology which has come to fill in this gap. 3D printing, uh, by the technology, it is quite different from the conventional methodology of construction. It is going to ease out the time, it is going to ease out the labor and the efforts what is being put in by the construction workers and the team. It is going to ease out all these things and it is slowly going to emerge as a new trend or new technology in this field of construction. 3D printing reduces project timelines by approximately 70% compared to conventional methods. Additionally, it unleashes vast design possibilities, enabling machinery to create intricate artisanal patterns and sculptures. With the Indian government emphasizing infrastructure development, the adoption of 3D printing is anticipated to be revolutionary. This technology holds particular promise for the real estate sector, given the escalating demand for accommodations in urban and suburban regions. Not only does 3D printing cut down on labor costs, it also minimizes material waste and construction time. Our main focus is on digitizing the construction process. So what we do in Twista, so we design and manufacture machines in our company. We developed our own material and we engineer, actually we engineer our own material we develop our own software which drives the entire process of construction and which acts as a drive uh, bridge between the machine and the material. Ideally, uh, we are the only company in the world as a startup to give an one-stop solution for this industry at a single, uh, under a single roof. The introduction of 3D printing technology in infrastructure construction presents a significant advantage for India's burgeoning real estate sector. Now, this industry is experiencing a rapid expansion that is fueled by urbanization, infrastructure development, and escalating investments in both residential and commercial projects. So, let's delve deeper into the growth trajectory of the realty sector in India. Rapid infrastructural development, rising disposable income, and an expanding middle class have all played pivotal roles in propelling the growth of the real estate sector in India. According to the India Brand Equity Foundation, the real estate sector in India is projected to reach a market size of 1 trillion USD by 2030, a significant increase from 200 billion USD in 2021. Furthermore, it is expected to contribute 13% to the country's GDP by 2025. Retail, hospitality, and commercial real estate segments are also experiencing substantial growth, catering to India's evolving infrastructure requirements. Today, all the people who want invest in the Make in India campaign started. There were a lot schemes, a lot initiatives by government, which is why NRIs, बहुत से इंडियंस आज इन्वेस्ट करना चाहते हैं दे सी प्रॉपर्टी एज द सेफेस्ट सेगमेंट एंड आई थिंक दैट इज द प्राइमरी रीजन जिसकी वजह से ये आज बूम आया है एंड दिस बूम इज नॉट टेंपरेरी ये आगे कई वर्षों तक चलता चला जाए
The approval of the Real Estate Investment Trust Platform by the Securities and Exchange Board of India SEBI, is big news for India's real estate industry. It brings a whopping $19.65 billion opportunity, boosted by schemes like Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana. With pros now running the show and more transparency thanks to foreign direct investment, things look up. To maintain livable cities, we must innovate and comply with global regulations. Indian real estate, adapting to these shifts, will boost the economy and better serve people's needs. Sufism has flourished for centuries in India alongside other religions, fostering love and harmony within society. And to carry forward the legacy of Sufi saints, the Poonch district of Jammu and Kashmir recently commemorated the Urs festival of Saint Saint Miran Sahib Guntrian. Devotees from across the region thronged the dargah to pay heartfelt tribute in remembrance of the revered saint. Situated near the line of control in the Poonch district of India's Jammu and Kashmir lies the dargah of the most revered Sufi saint Saint Miran Baksh Guntrian. Recently, on the occasion of the 40th Urs of the Saint, people from all across the region, cutting across different religious groups, gathered to commemorate his death anniversary in unison. Whether they were Hindus, Muslims, Sikhs or Christians, the devotees bowed and sought blessings of the Saint. The Darga was decorated with lights and flowers, creating a festive and spiritual ambience. <laughs> वो साईं मीरा बाबा दरवेश गुलाम कादर ट्रस्ट के ज़ेरे एतमाम मनाया गया है और तमाम इंतज़ाम एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ने और ट्रस्ट ने मिलकर किए हैं और हम आपके चैनल के माध्यम से दुआ करते हैं लोगों को मुबारकबाद देते हैं और सबको ये कहते हैं कि अमन और शांति का मैसेज जो साईं बाबा दरबार से मिलता है उस पर हमें चलना है और अपने मुल्क के लिए भी और अपने एरिया के लिए भी काम करना है The three-day long festival was commemorated in collaboration with the local administration and the associated trust. Moreover, the event also included an array of recreational programs including ceremonial verses and speeches. It is said that Hazrat Sain Baba Miran Baksh migrated from Pakistan to Punch in 1951 citing the beauty of the region and served people for his entire life. मैं हिंदू धर्म से हूं और मेरे साथ मेरे बहुत से दोस्त जो हैं वो यहां पर आए हैं मेरे परिवार के जो लोग हैं वो भी यहां पर आते हैं और हम पिछले कई सालों से यहां पर आ रहे हैं और यहां पर आके एक मन को बहुत सुकून मिलता है Events like these showcase the country's rich cultural diversity moreover such festival also cultivate brotherhood and love within society Now let's delve into World in Focus featuring the latest global developments and events shaping our world. A 74-year-old master of classical Japanese dance may seem an unlikely member of a seniors break dancing group, but for Saruwaka Kiyoshi, who is using a stage name, getting her feet wet in the sport was a no brainer after it was confirmed for the 2024 Paris Games the team is led by the 38 year old dance instructor Yusuke Arai a former national breaking champion and a judge of breaking competitions the moves of the senior group naturally are not as acrobatic and gravity defying as the feats that would be expected at the olympics instead the aim is for them to have fun and stay fit Soccer fever at Euro 2024 in Germany is being felt in a very unlikely place, an opera house in Hamburg, Germany. This new production called Fußball Oper or Football Opera is selling out to lovers of both sport and music. The director Inken Rahat recreates a soccer pitch and the chaotic interactions between players, referee and ball, mixing fan chants with traditional areas and pop song. The show lasts 90 minutes, the same time as a soccer game. 
Milk for many is a delightful sip of satisfaction and a presumed nutritional powerhouse. India leads the world in milk production with a per capita availability of 459 grams per day, which is far above the global average. Celebrating this achievement, India observes a World Milk Day to highlight dairy's crucial role in global nutrition. So join us as we explore the growth of the Indian milk industry and the key factors behind its rapid expansion. Milk is more than just a drink in India. It's a timeless staple enjoyed hot or cold in all seasons. As the country's favorite refreshment and source of nourishment, milk is cherished nationwide. From small-scale producers to large dairy cooperatives, the Indian milk industry has become the largest and best in the world. To highlight milk's nutritional benefits and promote dairy products, India recently celebrated World Milk Day. Various campaigns and free milk distribution across the country raised awareness about the importance of milk in a balanced diet. Supporting this vast industry is an ecosystem that brings milk to our doorsteps. Meet Ankit Redu, who returned to his hometown of Jind in Haryana after completing his higher education in London. Embracing his family legacy and entrepreneurial spirit, Ankit joined his father as the second generation leader of Lakshya Food, a private FMCG company. I myself introduced some new distribution channels in our company. We, uh, earlier our distribution network used to be like we used to give uh, to one central distributor per city. Now we have changed the distribution to uh, retailers. The young CEO has prioritized profitability and aims to create more job opportunities through innovative methods used to enhance milk production in the country. Many individuals like him have revolutionized the operational landscape of the Indian milk industry, leading to its current status as one of the best in the world. Formerly a milk deficient country that produced a little over 55 million tons of milk during a fiscal year in the 1990s, India is now responsible for 25% of global milk production. Multiple factors including innovation, robust research, technological advancements, and government support have enabled India to optimize its milk production. The local leaders have started to be given to our small farmers. Today, the price of 22 lakhs is being paid. The benefit of this type of food and tapi village, especially the tribal Adivasi society, is that the people of the village are connected to us. And the benefit of this type of food is being paid for. Now, we are going to the capital of Maharashtra, Maharashtra, and Kolhapur, and Goa. हम दूध वहाँ पे संपादन कर रहे हैं। The government, cooperative societies, and milk processing units in the country are encouraging dairy farmers by providing easy loans, high milk producing cow breeds, and other technical assistance. जिला उद्योग से दी मेरा सब्सिडी वाला लोन लिया है 35 परसेंट वाला सब्सिडी वाला उसके साथ सुमुल डेरी का मैंने वो दूध गंगा लोन भी लिया जो जीरो परसेंट से सुमुल डेरी से मिला है उससे मेरे को बहुत अच्छा प्रॉफिट मिला है। While the dairy industry is traditionally male dominated, a recent report suggests substantial female involvement, with 35 percent of women participating in dairy cooperatives. Now, this participation has complemented the earnings of rural women and empowered them to support their families. Shakuntala Ben, a small dairy farmer in Surat, Gujarat, is a living example of the empowerment of women in India's dairy industry. With six cattle, Shakuntala has successfully established her business and is contributing to the growth of India's milk industry. Shakuntala, along with millions of others like her, has been instrumental in the success of India's dairy sector by selling the milk they obtain from their animals. My husband is gone, and I don't have any other way to do it. I don't have any other way to do it. I got a dog from a dog, and that dog has been four years ago. And this is going to be good for me. In the fiscal year 2022 to 2023, 
India's milk production increased by 4%, reaching 230.58 million tons. Over the past nine years, milk production in India surged by 58%. This growth is the result of significant government efforts and the ambitions of individuals and industry players. The cooperation and competition among various stakeholders, along with effective central policies, have propelled India to its current status as one of the best in the global dairy market. There are many underprivileged children in parts of India who face significant challenges in accessing quality education and sports training. And while the government has various programs in place to support these children, individual efforts also play a crucial role in helping them realize their potential. And today we shine a light on these unsung heroes, dedicated individuals and organizations who are tirelessly working to provide these children with opportunities to excel in education, sports and other extracurricular activities. Nestled within the historic confines near Old Delhi's iconic Red Fort lies a serene Hindu temple. Tucked away from the bustling streets, this temple compound houses more than just spiritual solace. It shelters an educational center called Tan Singh Ki Pashala, Tan Singh School. This center serves as a beacon of hope and enlightenment for the underprivileged children residing in the adjacent slums. The school was established in 2015 by Tan Singh, a police officer with the desire to uplift the marginalized. Launched with just four children, the center now nurtures over a hundred children. कि मैंने इन बच्चों के लिए सबको न्योछावर कर दिया नौकरी में अगर कोई कंप्रोमाइज नहीं कोई छुट्टी नहीं करता कोई कुछ नहीं करता क्योंकि मुझे मेरे मां मेरे बच्चे फैमिली बोलते हैं मैंने कहा उनसे भी मैं कर लूंगा पर इन बच्चों ने जो सपने देखे ना वो सपनों को टूटने नहीं दूंगा मैं बस मेरा यही एक सपना है टॉनसिंग्स प्रोग्राम बोर्न फ्रॉम हिज चाइल्डहुड स्ट्रगल्स हैज अर्न प्रेज फ्रॉम दिल्ली पुलिस फोर्सेस एंड द लोकल कम्युनिटी फर्दरमोर अ ग्रुप ऑफ दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी गर्ल्स नाउ वॉलंटियर एट टॉनसिंग्स स्कूल finding fulfillment in providing free education to children from families dependent on daily wage laborers. In addition to academics and sports, the children at Tan Singh School are imbibing essential values, shaping them into compassionate individuals. My father is not my father and my mother is my mother. जब मैं उनको देखती हूँ तो मुझे बहुत बुरा लगता है और मैं सोचती हूँ कि मैं बड़े होकर एक अच्छी जॉब करूँगी और मैं अपनी मम्मी को अच्छे सुख दूँगी जो उन्हें कभी नहीं मिले। Now shifting our focus to another inspiring figure, we encounter a commendable individual dedicated to transforming lives through gymnastics training for the underprivileged children. Settled in Jaipur, Manu Kamboch. Who is a recipient of National Youth Award in India is committed to nurturing his students to national and international standards in sports. These economically disadvantaged children and adolescents in Jaipur City are immersed in a rigorous gymnastics training program at a sports academy, striving to excel. Guided by Manu Kamboj, a highly educated and nationally certified coach, they work to improve their skills and achieve success. Manu, a recipient of the National Youth Award, is dedicated to uplifting marginalized individuals who are now showcasing remarkable performances nationwide. बहुत से बच्चे ऐसे हैं जिनके पिताजी सब्जी का ठेला चलाते हैं बहुत से बच्चे ऐसे हैं कि किसी के फादर तो ऑटो रिक्शा चलाते हैं या फिर बहुत से अलग अलग डिफरेंट डिफरेंट बैकग्राउंड से बच्चे हैं पर सबका एम एक ही है कि उनको स्पोर्ट्स के लिए कुछ अच्छा करना है जो मैंने कठिनाइयाँ झेली है वो बाकी लोगों को नहीं झेलनी पड़े कठिनाई तो उसके लिए ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा युवाओं को कितना प्रेरित कर सकता हूँ उसके लिए मैं पूरा पूरा प्रयास करता हूँ और भगवान ने चाह तो हमेशा ये प्रयास करता रहूँगा Manu operates the youth club, 
Yuva Sati Sangthan, extending support to hundreds of children from underprivileged backgrounds, offering opportunities for growth in cultural, sports, and youth development. Through his initiatives, he aims to empower underprivileged children, providing them with a sense of belonging and purpose. In doing so, Manu not only changes many lives, but also inspires hope and opportunity for a brighter future. Together, these heroes illuminate paths to brighter futures for underprivileged children across India's urban centers. And that's all we have for today's show for you, but we will see you next week at the same time. Till then, goodbye and take care.